Hi, this is Mrs. Basin, and we're going to go over the notes for blood type, and then we're going to work through a couple example problems. So blood type is a trait that shows both multiple alleles and codominance. So that means there are three alleles for the blood type in humans, and it also shows codominance for some of those alleles. So you can be blood type A, blood type B, blood type AB, or blood type O. And then the three possible alleles you could have for blood type are IA, IB, and I. And then IA and IB are codominant, little i is recessive. So there's a couple different combinations you can have here. So if you are type A blood, your genotype is either IA, IA, or IA, little i. If you're type B blood, your genotype is either IB, IB, or IBI. If you're type AB blood, your alleles are IA, IB. This is the one that shows codominance. And then if you're type O blood, then you are little i, little i, because the eyes are recessive. So the only way you can show type O blood is if you have two little eyes. The other thing we have to look at for blood type is something called antigens and antibodies. So an antigen is something that a, a molecule produces. It's a molecule that's on something that's in your body, on a cell or on a substance in your body, that lets your immune system know its status. So if a cell has an antigen on it, your body will either recognize it as something that's supposed to be in your body, or it will recognize it as something that's not, and your immune system will attack and destroy it. So for blood type A, you have what are called A antigens. So they're little markers or flags, whatever you want to think of it as, around that blood cell um, that say, I'm a, I'm a type A blood cell. Your body then produces antibodies against B antigens. So if you try to give someone with type A blood, type B blood, your body's going to attack and destroy that type B blood because it looks and destroys anti-B. If you have type B blood, you have B antigens and your body makes anti-A antibodies. So this, the same thing is true for this, only in the reverse situation. If you try to give someone with type B blood, type A blood, it's going to attack it because it has antibodies that will target those A antigens. If you have type AB blood, you have AB antigens and no antibodies. So if you have type AB blood, you are called a universal recipient because you can take any type of blood because your body doesn't make antibodies against any of it. If you're type O blood, you have no antigens, but you have anti-A and anti-B antibodies. So for type O, we call O the universal donor, so it can be given to anyone, but it can only receive from type O. Because if you give it type A, type B, or type AB, your immune system will attack and destroy those cells. So this is just reinforcement of what we just talked about. We said IA and IB alleles cause those molecules or antigens to form on the surface. The antigens are recognizable by your immune system. And if there's something there that's not supposed to be there, like I said, your body seeks out and destroys it. So the antibodies are proteins in the blood that are produced by our immune system that identifies and neutralizes foreign objects. So that's what our immune system does when they see something in there that has antigens it doesn't recognize, it seeks them out. And So like I said, not all blood types can mix. If you infuse the wrong blood type into someone, their body will... Um, attack those cells as foreign bodies. So if you have type B blood, it produces anti-A antibodies, which will attack A antigens, which would be present if you tried to infuse type A blood. And that can cause someone to feel very ill. It can even cause kidney failure and possibly death. The other issue we have to worry about with blood cells is Rh factors. So if someone is Rh positive, that's dominant over Rh negative when you're trying to figure out the, the genetic outcome. Um, we're not going to do problems with the positives and negatives, but that's just one other piece to a blood type. So you, your blood type is not only a letter, you also have a positive and negative associated with it. Okay, so let's try a couple examples here. This, these are examples one through three on that practice sheet that you have in front of you, so we'll work through these together, um, and then you can finish the rest of it on your own. So like we said, the possible alleles for blood type are IA, IB, and little i. So if you are type A, like we said a minute ago, you could either be IA, IA, or IA, little i. So you would have to know which genotype that person was. If you have type AB blood, your only possibility is IA, IB. If you're type O, your only possible genotype is little i, little i. 
And then if you're type B blood, just like type A blood, you could be IB, IB, or IB, little i. Okay, so once you have that down, now you can work a couple practice problems. So this person says we have a man with type A and a woman with type AB. So that means his genotype has to be IA, IB. Hers has to be also IA, IB. So I'm going to do the cross. And the Punnett squares for these are just like what we did before. The only difference is the letters look a little bit different because we now have these little superscripts. Okay, so then you bring these down. IA, IA. IA, IB. IA, IB. IB, IB. So my possible genotypes are IA, IA. IA, IB. IB, IB. So 25% IAIA, 50% IAIB, 25% IBIB. Okay, so then you have to translate that into what their blood type would actually be. So if I have AA, I'm going to have type A blood, so that's going to be 25%. If I have IBIB, that's type B blood, 25%. There's no type O blood. And then IAIB is going to be type AB blood. Okay, let's try one more. So on this one, a man has type B blood. Now on your practice sheet, this is labeled weird. So make sure you change that so that it makes sense because what it's using is a different notation system that we're not using anymore. So we're going to use IBIB -I -B instead of big B, big B, which is what I think is on your sheet. And then if she has type O blood, her only possible genotype is little i, little i. Okay, so if we look at this cross. IB, IB, little i, little i. All of their offspring can only have IB, little i. So this is going to be 100% IB, little i. So that means there's nobody with type A blood, 100% type B blood. 0% O blood, 0% AB blood. Okay, so since I O is recessive, she's the only way you could have a, a type O baby would be if this father had that little I as his second allele. So if he did have I as a second allele, then you could possibly have a baby with type O blood. But if he's IB, IB, then because that's dominant, that's going to um, mean that all of his children would have type B blood. Okay, so try the rest of those. We will um, go over those on Monday. We'll do a lab on Monday that will help reinforce this.